During DNA replication, a double-stranded DNA molecule separates and each strand is used as a template for the synthesis of a new strand. This results in the formation of two identical copies of the original double-stranded molecule. This is called semi-conservative replication. This term captures the idea that each round of DNA replication produces hybrid molecules, each of which contains one old strand and one newly synthesized strand. During each round of replication, the amount of DNA is doubled, the original strands remain intact and end up in different daughter strands. The pattern of semi-conservative DNA replication was proposed in a 1953 paper by Watson and Crick. They did not call it semi-conservative, but their description captures the idea that each of the two original strands are used as templates to make new double strands. Watson and Crick's paper proposed a mechanism but provided no experimental evidence. The evidence for semi-conservative replication was provided several years later in a 1958 paper by Messelson and Stahl.